This is going to be our first demo program on arrays. In this particular program, I am going to show you how you can read numbers that is integers into an array and how you can print numbers from an integer array. From now on, we shall be doing all our programs or if not all, at least almost all of them using functions and pointers where applicable. So what I have done is I have defined a preprocessor declarative max as 50. I'm using this to define the size of an array or the maximum size of an array as 50 numbers. I have declared n which tells me how many numbers or elements the user wants to enter into an array. So I'm asking the user enter the number of how many numbers you want to enter into an array. So I'm going to read the number of elements into the array. So the user may say five elements, 10 elements or so on. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write my first function. So my first function is going to look something like this. Okay, I'm going to say read underscore array. All right, I'm going to say name of the array. Okay, and I'm going to pass on the maximum number of elements the user is going to enter. So let's take a look at this particular function. So in order to speed up typing, you can easily copy the prototypes so that they help you speed up the development. What this first prototype tells you is the name of the function is read array. It is not going to return any value and it is accepting one parameter which happens to be an integer passed by value and the second parameter happens to be an address. Now let me tell you what is this address. Let's call this fellow as x and let's keep this name as still n. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say for int i is equal to 0 i less than the maximum number of numbers the user wants to enter okay and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply say scanf okay scanf percentage d address of x of i all right address of x of i and then I am going to simply do a return. All right. But before this, I need to tell the user that please enter the numbers. So I'm going to print the message. Please enter percentage D numbers. Percentage D reflects the number of numbers the user is going to enter. So percent, sorry, this has got to be N and this is it. So what we're doing right now here is I am passing the array name and I am passing the maximum number of elements the user wants to enter into an array. Now the reason this is star x is when arrays are passed, remember this very important, when arrays are passed in functions in C, the address of the array is passed or the address of the zeroth element is passed. It makes sense. Suppose an array has 10,000 elements. If it had to pass by value, it would take a lot of time and as well as memory space to pass all the values to the called function. So, so designers of C are smart. They just said, let us pass the address of the zeroth element to this function called as read array. So now since the address of the array is passed, whatever elements I enter into that particular location is going to get stored. So you can think of this something like this. You can think x is equal to address of a of 0 or it can also be simply address of a okay or a itself just a or even a is the address just the name of the array itself is the address. So if you simply say print percentage LU a it is going to print the address of the array. So address of the zeroth element or address of the array or simply just the name of the array gives you the address of the zeroth location. Now I'm asking the user enter the numbers into the array. So user is going to enter numbers. This will require a little bit of explanation. Just hold on. I'll do it at the right point of time. The next thing what I'm going to do is since this particular program involves that I'm going to print the numbers of the array. I'm going to again say a and n. Now as usual trying to be a little lazy. I'm going to copy the prototype from here. Okay, so this is what you need to do. If you, if possible, just keep 
copying the prototype so this way you'll save a little time so now what i'm going to do here is i am going to copy the prototype here again i'm going to say int x and i'm going to say int n now if you look at something between reading and printing they are pretty much the same okay what you can see is in place in reading i'm going to use a scanf in printing i'm going to use printf so i am going to say please i'm not going to say now i am going to say percentage d numbers of the array r okay you're going to see the numbers of the array and in place of printf sorry in place of scanf i am going to use printf and just so that there's a little gap between one or two of the numbers i'm just going to give space i don't need the address of that i just need the value at that particular address so here i am going to print the numbers of the array what we can do is we'll take this particular chap okay we'll expand and take this particular chap we'll take this particular chap okay and paste it into our favorite online gdb c compiler let us first try to see if this particular piece of code compiles then i will do the remaining explanation pay attention to the explanation very carefully because these are your basics once you understand the basic concept of arrays it is just the logic you need to develop to solve them which is not difficult at all okay lucky it's taking us first time it's compiled without errors enter the number of elements into the array let us say i'm going to enter five numbers into an array okay so please enter the five numbers 10 20 30 40 and 50 let's say these are my five numbers i enter now <coughs> what is going to happen here is when I press the enter key, it should print the five numbers 10, 20 and 30 and 40. So the five numbers of the array are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So just in case you want to take a look, this is how your screen is going to look. So I entered five numbers. These were the input numbers. And then these were the five numbers which were entered were printed out. Now I promised you that I'm going to do a little bit of explanation of this particular address so what happened is when i say a comma n the address of a is passed to x so address of a is nothing but address of the zeroth element or address of the array starting address of the array or simply a in arrays refers to the address of the array so what happens is once x gets the address of the array it is quite simple i know the starting location so if you just Look at this, why I have to use address of x of i is, suppose the address of the array starts at let's say 100, okay. So initially i is 0, x of 0 will simply refer to the value at the 0th location, address of x of 0 will refer to 100. Now next time when i becomes 1, what will happen is, this 100 will not become 101, this is pointer arithmetic, so array address of x of i suppose this fellow integer occupies four bytes in the memory here then the next location where the data is going to be stored is going to be 104 now how did this 104 come it is going to be 100 plus size of size of int into one so size of int on my machine is 4. So 100 plus 4 is going to be 104. That's how the next address at the address 104, the next number say 20 got stored. The next time this will be 2. So size of int 4 into 2 is 8. So at the 108th location, you are going to have the third number stored. So the way this address of x of i is internally broken down is x is replaced with the base address 100 then whatever is this i is replaced with this 1 0 1 or 2 and since the data type of this array is integer size of int into whatever value of i will give you the address where the next number has to be stored for a better understanding of this take a look at the following program where i am going to print the addresses and give you a more detailed explanation 